and distance between atoms in the solid is usually around is usually around 2.10 to the minus 10 meters because, because this is much smaller than we than the wavelength of the visible light visible light cannot be used to study the structure of the solids X-rays and electrons are commonly used. What is the wavelength? Wavelength. What is the lambda? That is the wavelength of an electron with a kinetic energy of 130 electron volts. Mass of the electron is mass of the electron is 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31 kilograms. And when we do that, what is the energy of the photon with the same wavelength? Wavelength is equal to this. But we will calculate what is the energy of the photon with the same wavelength. Right? So the problem. This is a fantastic assignment, and I like this very much. <laughs> Electron wavelength. This is the De Broglie wavelength of the Louis De Broglie. So you could Google it to see what what is all about. Louis De Broglie says, and that is experimentally proven that. You have a wavelength for every object, not just light or waves or whatnot. This is a wavelength, this is the Planck constant, this is the uh, momentum of the, of the object. This means that this eraser and this pen and me and this building have a wavelength. Yes, but because these momentums are larger uh, and uh, Planck constant is small, so this wavelength in meters is very small. To, to large objects, so we cannot detect that. But for electron, it is used for electron makers in electron microscope. So and and other things. This is done instead. So let us calculate the wavelength of an of an electron that has a mentioned energy. So when the wavelength is lambda, that is h divided by Lambda divided h divided by p. P is momentum. Momentum is mass times uh, speed or velocity, whatever. But we don't have momentum; we have energy. So now we we will find the relation between momentum and energy. Momentum is mass times speed or velocity. But if we square that, that will be uh, uh, p squared m squared times v squared. This m squared we could rewrite as this. Now we could add 2 here and down there. Uh, we multiply divide by the same number, that's nothing. So we will have momentum squared is equal to 2 masses times e, e, that is kinet e, that is kinetic energy. And from here, e, e is equal to p squared divided by 2m. This is the relation between energy, kinetic energy and momentum. From here, we could rewrite uh, momentum, so should I say, uh, value of the momentum, intensity. Momentum is equal to square root divided, uh, square root of 2 times mass of the object times its energy. So we will re re rewrite that in this equation. And before we do that, let us calculate how much in joules is 130 electron volts. One electron volt is 1.6 10 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. Note that this is same amount as elementary charge, but about that some other times. So this is the 130 electron volts in joules. This is rewritten re equation, and this is the wavelength of the electron. This is the Planck constant, that is equal, that is uh, equal, that is a number that is equal everywhere, according to everybody, but not by me. That doesn't matter. And this is the momentum of the electron. This is two times mass of the electron, electron energy, and so on. Now we rewrite everything that we have. This is the Planck constant. Here should be written six, but doesn't matter. This is the Planck constant. This is two. This is the mass of the electron. This is the its energy in joules. And when when you 
calculate all of this, you will get the wavelength of the electron as this. Okay? Now, photon energy. The second part of the solution was to calculate photon energy. What is the energy of photon? The same wavelength as the electron above. Photon energy is equal, of course, Planck constant time. It's frequency, but we don't have frequency here. We have a wavelength. So we will rewrite this as energy of the photon is Planck constant time c. This is speed of light divided by the wavelength. And this is the speed of light, wavelength, and frequency, and so on and so forth. So you could finish this yourself. Or for complete truth to the answer, please follow the link in the description. If you want more of this, please subscribe and tell your friends. Bye.